Well, hello everyone. Uh, this video is going to cover the lunar observations done on 18th of March of 2021, and it will briefly show um, the capture and initial processing and further processing sequences uh, used to give us the, um, the final lunar image shown at the end of this video. Also shown in this video are the 12 segments of the moon um, using some nifty video capture um, excerpts of the moon and how they were initially stacked and processed, stitched together, and then final processed. To start out with, I use a telescope that has a tracking mount and camera attached to it. This telescope is the one used. It's the Celestron Next Draw Evolution mount, which is all of this here. And then this scope attached to it is a Skywatcher SkyMax 127 millimeter Maxitop telescope. Um, really ideal for lunar or solar system captures because of the uh, um, low cost of this scope and uh, superb um, optics of this scope as well. I use a software called SharpCap Pro to capture the uh, images. It's a meager cost software, but it's very capable for astrophotography image uh, and video capture as well. So this software is what you see here. It's a SharpCap Pro. It's attached to the camera, which is an ASI-224 camera. And it's, um, th there's a USB cable that uh, goes from the camera to the laptop. And here on the right shows you the exposure settings and you can see that I've got zero gain on this. And you can see the image of the moon that it's, uh, um, it's capturing uh, in the background. After each of the 12 segments are um, completed, um, all the video captures, um, uh, meaning I capture a thousand uh, frame videos for each segment, and then I run it through this software that you see, it's called Auto Stacker. It's also free software, um, which is uh, convenient. It does a great job um, of really stacking the video frames. Once each of the 12 segments are stacked, I run each segment resulting file uh, into um, Registack 6.1, which is also a free piece of software. And all I do is really use the wavelet feature up there, and I just bring it over just a little bit um, because the scene conditions uh, on the 18th were so great, I didn't need to do much more than that. Next, I run all 12 resulting files into the Image Composite Editor by Microsoft. It's also free. And you can see all the gray areas here that needs to be filled in. But this software will do it for you. And here's the result. Now this is a result of running the software through Photoshop. It's not a whole lot of detail. It's not really tweaked. I mean, there's some good, inf a lot of good information here, um, but the uh, the last two pieces of software that I use is Photoshop and Luminar 4. Now we're going to take a look at the video excerpts of the 12 segments. And each of these are animated GIF files from the original video um, capture. If you look at it, you're going to see some movement here. Now we're going to move on to the next three. And here we are. And when you're doing segments 
or composite ca uh, captures, you want to make sure you have more information than you need. You want some overlap. And while these image areas kind of uh, look similar, if you notice the position of these craters are a little bit different. You can see that these two craters are in a different position. Now we're going to get to the final image result after running it through Luminar 4. And here we are. Okay, great amount of detail, even in the smaller craters here. Look at the ridge of this crater here in the center point of the crater. And all the way across, just great detail. Well, that's pretty much it for this video, uh, folks. I hope you've enjoyed it and hope it uh, answers some questions. I didn't try to get too deep into it, but if you have any questions or comments, uh, please let me know. If you like the video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like it, feel free to uh, express that as well, especially in the comments, to give me some sort of constructive criticism. This is the first time um, that I'm doing my videos in a different way, trying to give a little bit more detail than just text and music. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great week.